Well, it's that time again where teams spend 48 sleepless hours <laughs> trying to make a movie. Well, it's all part of the 48-hour film project. And joining us live now to talk about that is uh, Dean Mac McDonald. Good morning. So glad you're with us. Thanks for being here with us. Thank you. It's, uh, you know, every year you do this first, and thank you very much. And I I've got some film people with us, and uh -huh. I've got my new assistant, Miss Sarah, with me. Okay, 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 Mac, explain it to everybody in case they don't know how, how this all works, because we're going to see uh, uh, future filmmakers all around town, all right? Oh, yeah, we got 42 teams this year. Um, we've almost doubled the number of teams from last year. It's amazing. How does it work, Mac? Explain it. What do they do? Huh? How, how does it work? What do they do? Let people know. <laughs> oh, well, what they got to do is they're going to come back here to the landing tonight. Um, they're going to find out a genre their film has to be in, a line of dialogue, a prop, and a character, and then at 7 o'clock they go start making their movie. They write it, shoot it, edit it, put music on it, bring it back here Sunday night at 7.30, we show them at the Florida Theater. And, and it's something, too, for them. What experience, what have you learned over the past couple of years, what have people learned from doing this? I'm sorry, say that again? I was just asking over the past couple of years, what do people learn from doing this? Because they have 48 hours, especially for the novice filmmakers. Well, the one thing that they get from doing this is, um, you know, just the challenge of trying to make a short film four to seven minutes long in, you know, just 48 hours, a weekend, basically. Where do they go from here? As far as I know, you said some of them, they, 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 it will be shown at the Florida Theater next week, but do, all the, do, other, do some of them have other aspirations after making this? Well, actually, yes, a couple of our filmmakers ha won't be competing this year because they've gone on. Dan Solomon, who was a winning director two years ago, and um, one of his, you know, his film a bunch of, won a bunch of awards last year, um, is now um, marketing his feature film um, oh. about um, dirt car racing um, in, the, in the southeast. All right, well, Mac, thank you so much for talking with us, and it all gets started today. Good luck with that. Thank, Thank you, for, you for talking with us. You know, this happens all around the world, too, at different yeah. times. Mm -hmm. What, 30 cities around the world last yeah. year? They had like 30,000 filmmakers uh, taking part in this And it's thing, so interesting to, to see that. Together. You know, like I know one year maybe they get like a, they have to use a toilet brush. Right, That's right. the prop. And this they have to prop. somehow make it make it into the movie. So <laughs> Should be very interesting. interesting they cost like 10 bucks to go see all 15 films at one yeah. time, so it might be fun. Well, South Korean newspapers reporting this morning the U.S. is planning to cut North Korea off from the international banking system. And news covering the world right now at 5. 38 U.S. Deputy Secretary of State James Steinberg didn't comment on that when he Well, there won't be any big Hollywood blockbusters or special effects to rival Star Wars, but the third annual Jacksonville 48-hour film project is certain to entertain. Joining us now live from the landing is Anthony Kilburn, a team producer. Good morning. Thanks so much for being with us. Thank you for having us, Angela. And, and this event has definitely grown. I remember two years ago when I first did the story and a few entries, and now how many people are participating in this? Uh, as far as I know, there are 40, 42 teams, something to the effect. I believe the first year there was maybe 20, 25. So yes, it definitely has grown. And, and you're one of the team, team members there. Why, why participate in something like this? I'm sorry, can you repeat that? Why participate in something like this? Well, it's, it's a fun time. Um, you know, we, we are filmmakers. Uh, my team, KCP Light, we, we just finished a feature. And uh, this is a way for us to kind of get back to the grind, get back to working together, and uh, produce something in 48 hours that most people wouldn't dream of doing. And have you, did you do this last year? Uh, not last year. Uh, we participated uh, in 07, the, the first year. Okay, and well, was it a lot of fun? And well, how challenging was it to get that one prop, you know, that genre, that line you have to use? It's, it's an immense challenge. Uh, a lot of times you're, you're scrambling to, to find the right costumes. If you're trying to do a mad scientist, you know, science fiction film, you've got to find some, some lab coats and whatnot, and where do you find those? So. <laughs> it's definitely a huge challenge. All right. Well, thank you so much, Anthony, for talking with us, and good luck to your team. Thank you very much. And the kickoff for the 48-hour film project is tonight from 6 to 7.30. The drop-off is Sunday from 6.30 to 8 o'clock. Both are free and open to the public. The teams, boy, they have to work hard. You can vote for your favorite films Tuesday and Wednesday. You can do this at 7 o'clock. Tickets are $10 per screening for $25 for a VIP pass. This is all happening at the Florida Theater where you can screen these movies to see how they all did. They had 48 hours to make a movie. So who knows, Phil, we may see you in one, huh? 
if you're popping no, around town. Uh, no, no it, what, <laughs> between four and seven minutes? It sounds like a lot of fun yeah. to put together, though, and plus with the new editing software they have yeah. now, it makes it a little bit easier, but the creativity just has to flow. I, I know, and especially hours. if you're giving that prop, say it may be a coffee mug, yeah. and you have to make it work, and you have to make a line work. Right. So, be tough, so interesting. Well, stay with us. There's much more news still to come. Coming up, we have uh, some, our final student of the week this summer before school lets out. We'll show that person to you coming up. And we're going to have some crab cakes today, a special kind of crab cake with some special seasoning. When we come back, I'll get the rest of the recipe for you. And showers already forming along the Gulf Coast, and they'll spare, spend the rest of the day moving towards us. So we've got rain in the forecast, and I've got your forecast coming up. The box? Yeah. Okay. The box will automatically pick it up through the antenna and tape, pick up everything that's digital that we, we now get digital. The converter box costs $50. You can request a $40 coupon from the FCC. You have until July 31st to get it. Call this number. It's 888-388-2009. If you're already receiving cable service or satellite service, you know what? You won't be affected by the switchover that happens next week. Well, film crews will be racing across the first coast this weekend. The filmmakers are taking part in Jacksonville's 48 hour film project. Joining us this morning to talk more about it is Joseph Reeves, a producer and director taking part in the project uh, this year. Joseph, thanks so much for joining us. So the big uh, the big uh, kickoff is tonight and tell us about what you have to do in 48 hours. Apparently what between 630 and and, uh, and seven or 830 or so you are given a character, a prop line, a, a line of dialogue and a genre and you're told, hey, go make a movie and you got two days to do it, right? Oh, I wish we could hear Joseph a little bit better than that. Apparently, there's some issues there with the microphone there. But Joseph is one of the many filmmakers who are going to be going over uh, today uh, at 630 over at the Jacksonville Landing to get pretty much their project, whatever it is. They are given that character, that prop, uh, a line of dialogue, and like we said, a genre. And then they take that and they make a movie out of it. They have uh, maybe a number of people in their group, possibly up to uh, six or seven people, Some only one person, and they make a movie in that 48 hour period that lasts between four and seven minutes. Let's go back out to Joe, because I think we got the microphone all squared away. That's something that he can't do wrong today when he makes that movie. Hey, Joe, can you hey, hear us? Hey, I'm back. There you go, there, yeah, fantastic. Tell us about, uh, have you done this before? Say it again. Have you done this before, this movie? Oh, yes. Yes, last year I was a cameraman. This year I decided to start my own team. Yeah, what's the toughest part about it, you think, putting this movie together? I would think the, the I mean, it's, it takes a lot of creativity in a short period of time, right? Oh, yes. It's a lot of work. You have to write the whole movie out and produce it and edit and, you know, do it all within the, the, the time limit. What was the deal yet, uh, last year when you did it? Uh, what kind of prop did you have and what kind of movie did you put together? Um, we put, a, um, put together a suspense thriller. The, the prop was like a basket, um, and you know we had the, the, the line to say in the movie. It was pretty fun to do. Now that guy uh, beside you looks uh, pretty familiar. Is he on your team? Oh yes, that's my editor. Yeah, and give me some creative ideas also. Well, Keel there, Keel there is also a camera person here at the at the station, yeah. a floor director for us, and I know he took part last year too. You know, with the editing, you were talking about Keel editing. Has it been a little bit easier because you're doing electronic editing now on a laptop? Does that make things a little quicker? Uh, well, it depends on the computer. Some people's computers crash, or sometimes the, the editing doesn't get finished in time, so that you know slows people down. Yeah. So you got to have a good good equipment. Do you have any type of strategy for this year, even though you don't know what you really have to work with yet? Um, my strategy was I try to get a lot of different locations to work with, um, a lot of different actors. I just try to you know come up with a lot of different ideas. So when whenever we choose it, we try to you know have something to to, to choose from. And I would, I would think you guys just don't go to bed, right? I mean, 48 hours, you're at it the whole time, aren't you? Right. I don't plan on going to sleep until after we turn the film in. <laughs> I don't blame you. Sunday night. Well, Joe, uh, c congratulations on taking part this year. Best of luck to you and Keel and the rest of your team putting together a good movie. Can't wait to see it. And we're going to tell people how they can go ahead and see those movies, too. The kickoff to the 48-hour film project is tonight from 6 to 7.30 over at the landing. And the drop-off is Sunday between 6.30 to 8. 
Uh, both are free and open to the public, and you can also vote for your favorite films Tuesday and Wednesday next week. Both screenings are at 7 o'clock. You can see up to 15 short films. That's kind of neat. Tickets are $10 per screening or $25 for a VIP pass to see all of them. Exciting, though. Like yeah, it definitely should be yeah. a lot of fun see, to do that. See what Keel and Joe puts together. Well, there are no horses at one rodeo, but uh, there's just as much excitement, they tell us. Coming up, how one company switching around the office furniture and building team spirit is and doing. Still ahead, a remake of a popular TV show starring a popular Hollywood funny man.